Hello there. Uh, welcome back to Cost and Management Accounting 86. Uh, this video, we want to look at the calculation of break-even points, and also we want to look at the uh, representation of break-even points uh, on a graph, that is the break-even analysis. So we are going to look at question 5.2 uh, on this question paper. That's where we're going to start. So our 5.2 reads the following information is an excerpt from uh, from Fundani manufacturers, whereby we are given a table well, uh, we have got a uh, fixed cost, a variable cost per unit, a number of units manufactured and sold, selling price per unit. So uh, on the uh, required part, uh, we are required to calculate our first part, 5.2.1, break-even quantity. So we're going to put down uh, the break-even quantity formula, and then we can just be, uh, simply suit the, uh, the figures that we are supposed to use in the calculation. So 5.2.1, uh, we are saying break-even quantity. So it's quantity, which means we're going to express our answer in number of units. So uh, the formula is equal to uh, total fixed cost over uh, over selling price per unit. Total fixed cost uh, over selling price per unit. Then you subtract your variable cost uh, per unit. So uh, these are the uh, figures that we're just going to look at uh, in the question and substitute them. So we've got fixed cost, we've got 10,000. Sell price per unit, we've got 20 rand, and uh, variable cost per unit, we've got uh, 12 rand. So uh, we just uh, go in some suit and such. We have we're saying 10,000 is our fixed cost. Sell price, remember, we're having 20, and then our variable minus 18. And then, uh, obviously, if you want to make a, a further represent, a further simplification there, uh, we, it will come to 10,000 over 20 minus. Uh, here we've got 12. Uh, 12. We can just recheck there. Uh, we have got 12 rand uh, representing our variable cost per unit here. So it means uh, we have got our 12 there. And then uh, we said 20 minus 12, you're going to get your 8. And then I uh, say 8 into 10,000, you're going to get uh, 1,250. So this is uh, the break even quantity, and we are saying 1,250 units. So this is what we have. So uh, this is the first part, and then uh, on the second part, uh, it requires us to prepare the break-even value, calculate the uh, break-even value. So a calculation of the break-even value is now easy because we now we now have the break-even quantity. So we are just going to say the break-even quantity times the selling price per unit. So we come here, uh, and then we are saying uh, 5.2.2. Uh, we are now calculating the break-even value, whereby we are saying uh, break-even quantity at times selling price per unit. Then we get the break-even uh, value. Then our uh, break-even quantity are given, it is 1,250, and then we multiply by selling price per unit. Obviously, we are having it uh, in the question, so let's try to see. For selling price per unit, we are given it here. So uh, it's 20, uh, 20 rand. So we are going to uh, multiply by 20 rand. So we go there. So I will multiply by 20. And then the final answer that we are supposed to get there, uh, we are going to get your 25,000, 25,000. So remember it's a value, so it means it's, uh, we're going to put it in the value. So if we put 25,000 runs, that is representing our break-even uh, value. So uh, on 5.2, 5 uh, 5 uh, 5.2.3, uh, that's where we are. So we are going to 5.2.3 uh, and see what uh, does it require us to do. 5.2.3 requires us to calculate the margin of safety in rand value. So basically, we are going to use uh, the um, we are going to use the break-even quantity. Uh, we are going to use the the break-even value because we are we want to calculate the value. So the, we are going to use the values, not the uh, number of units which, which are representing. Uh, the quantity. We are going to see that the margin of safety uh, is the difference between the gross revenue and the break even point. So, our gross revenue, remember, we are given, uh, if you go to the question, uh, let's try to see. If you go to the question here, we are given number of units manufactured and sold being 2000, and uh, uh, which means uh, if you say 2000 times 20 rand, uh, the answer that you are going to get there is uh, if you say 2000. Uh, which is our number of units manufactured and sold, and sold, uh, we multiply by 
our 20, you are going to get your 40,000. So this is uh, the uh, gross uh, the gross revenue, and then we, we, we subtract the break-even value. So in other words, we are just saying gross revenue minus uh, break-even uh, value. Then you get your margin of safety. So uh, that's how we are going to present it there. So 5.2.3, we are saying um, gross revenue uh, to get the break-even value. Gross revenue, uh, then we subtract the uh, break-even value. And then our gross revenue there, we are seeing that is 40,000. Uh, 40,000, then our break-even value, we got it as 25,000. So here we have got our 25,000, uh, and then we calculate it, we are going to get your 15,000. So this is uh, the uh, margin of safety. So basically we are saying, a margin of uh, safety is equal to 15,000 uh, runs. So um, on the last part of the question, uh, we are now uh, being asked to, to represent uh, the information that we have to uh, to put the uh, to put the information on the graph. So remember, the last part of the question is saying draw the break-even graph using the information above, and the question has got seven marks. So uh, you could see that the representation that we have on the graph, uh, we are having it here. Uh, let's just uh, try to see uh, the information that we have. So this is our graph. So we have the caps already there. So uh, you'd see that uh, we start with the total uh, sales, uh, the total sales revenue cap. Uh, is the is this uh, 45 degree line? So remember the angle that we have here is 90 degrees. So if you go, uh, in the middle there, that's where we're going to have a 45 degree, a 45 degree line. So we are saying this at this uh, angle, we have got 45 uh, degrees. So uh, this will form the total uh, sales curve. So we are saying total sales. And then uh, fixed cost, remember fixed cost, the definition of the fixed cost says uh, if the fixed costs do not change with level of output, they remain fixed. So if you go to back to our question, uh, you'd see that uh, the fixed costs we are giving them is 10,000, and we say they do not change, they remain constant. So we see that the horizontal curve that we have there, uh, the horizontal line that we are having there, uh, is representing the fixed costs. We are saying here is 10,000. Uh, we are having 10,000 there. And this becomes the fixed cost. So it, it's not changing, it's remaining at 10,000. That's what we are having. And then um, on the on the curve that is starting on fixed cost is the total cost. Remember, total cost to get our total cost, uh, our total cost we say total cost is equals to fixed cost uh, plus a variable cost. So it means even if our production is zero, remember a fixed cost we say even if production is zero, we are, going to, we are going to pay the fixed cost. So it means uh, here we have got all those other axes. We have got a uh, a quantity which is uh, in units number of units. So here, uh, at the point of origin here, we are going to have a zero quantity being pro, uh, being produced. So it means we've got zero units, but still at, this, at that zero units, if we don't produce anything, that is zero units, uh, we are still going to pay the fixed, the same amount of fixed costs with uh, producing a, a, any, a, any, any number of uh, units that we produce. So we are going to see that at zero quantity, we are still being, going to pay your, your 10,000 that is a fixed cost. So that's how uh, we can best explain in terms of fixed cost. So uh, on the vertical axis, we are going to have now this the sales uh, the revenue, uh, the the revenue or the cost uh, represented in runs. So this is what we have on the uh, vertical axis. And then uh, this curve now, which is starting from our fixed cost, is the total cost curve. So we are saying at zero units by producing zero units, you pay only ten thousand uh, fixed cost, and variable cost will be zero because variable cost varies with the level of output. So uh, when we are having um, when we are having uh, zero units, variable cost will be zero. So uh, it, it will be, at zero units, it will be fixed cost plus, a fixed cost which is 10,000 plus variable cost being zero units. As being zero, I mean, uh, being zero runs uh, to represent the total uh, cost. So this one represents our variable, our variable cost. So uh, the break-even point, uh, the break-even point, remember, is is the point where we are going to have our our total our total cost curve 
uh, our total cost curve uh, being equal to. So this one becomes our, we can just maybe correct here uh, where we, we are putting our variable cost. It's supposed to be our, to our, our total, our total cost curve. So uh, our variable cost now will be the difference between the, the fixed cost and total cost. Because if you say uh, total cost is equals to our total cost is equals to fixed cost uh, plus variable cost, it means uh, to get your variable cost, it will be equal to total cost minus fixed cost. If you make a, a variable cost, the subject of the formula here, the subject of the formula. So it means uh, the vertical distance that is there between total cost at, at any given level of output represents the variable cost. So you'd see that uh, this is a representation of, of your variable, of your variable cost. So uh, this is uh, what we have. And then uh, you would see that now uh, the break-even point now is where we are. We are saying a uh, break-even point is where we are going to have uh, a profit of zero, whereby we are saying total cost, uh, break-even point, uh, it's a point where we are going to have our total cost equal to our total revenue. In other words, we are saying, uh, at break even point, at break even point, uh, total cost is equal to total revenue. In other words, we are saying when calculating profit, we say total revenue minus total cost, we're going to get a zero. So it means that we have got the same amount of uh, total revenue at, at break even point that we are having for total cost. So uh, this is uh, what we have. And then we, if you go there now uh, on the on the curve, we are saying the point of intersection of the total of the, of the total sales curve and the total cost curve represents the break-even point. So the break-even point is here. So that's where we're having the break-even point. So if you go to the vertical axis where we're having the value, uh, remember we're saying revenue and cost. So the, the total revenue will be equal to total cost when you are here, as you are represented where we're having the intersection of total sales and total uh, cost curve. So if you go there, the break-even value uh, that we calculated, uh, the break-even value that we calculated, uh, we got it as that, is 25,000. So it means here we are having 25,000. And then uh, if you go to the to the horizontal axis again, uh, if you go down to the horizontal axis, we'll take the break-even quantity, is the one that will come here, is 1,000. Uh, 1,250. So here we are having 1,250. So this is uh, what we have, and then uh, on the on the total total sales that we have, we are going to uh, have it as uh, somewhere here where we having our total sales curve, and then remember we calculate we calculate the total sales as forty thousand. So forty thousand is going to be here. So this is uh, what we have, and then uh, if you go down again to the horizontal axis. Remember the, the, the total uh, sales that we have, the number of units we are given it here, which is a uh, 2,000 here. Uh, these are the number of units our manufacturers and sold. So 2,000 again is going to represent our our quantity of 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 of, uh, of the sales that we, we we made. So we have got 2,000 here. So the margin of safety now, uh, the margin of safety now is it becomes also the vertical distance that we have. Uh, between uh, the point of our our sales and our break-even value. So if you see at uh, the distance that we have, vertical distance that we have between this will now be the margin uh, margin of safety. So this is uh, what we have according to uh, the representation that we have on uh, the break-even point. So you would see that this is the representation that we have in terms of the break-even analysis. Uh, so you'd see that the, this question has got a seven marks, which is very important. And the number of marks that are there are very... So you, you are supposed to label your axis and label all the quantities that are there given in the uh, information that are given in the question and be able to represent in terms of uh, the section that represent the variable cost and the margin of safety, break even point, and then all the curves are being labeled. And uh, that's uh, clearly showing that at, at our total uh, sales curve, this is total revenue curve, uh, being a 45 degree line. So uh, you should represent it uh, as a 45 degree line to say that it's, it, it's, uh, in the, uh, it's bisecting the our, our 90 degree angle at the middle to form a 45 degree line uh, so that it becomes a, a total uh, revenue curve 
So this is what we have. Uh, hopefully the video was helpful. We'll meet again in the next video. Those who have subscribed, please subscribe and share. Let's share the link to all our friends. As for this video, I'm out to meet again.